What show did Don Cornelius host from 1971 to 1993? Pass. What sport celebrates each November 6th to honor its inventor, Dr. James Naismith? Um, basketball. Which television show introduced Whacking Day as May 10th as residents of Springfield brought snakes into the town square and beat them to death? Simpsons. What is the word which means acceptable to eat under Jewish law? Kosher. What was the name of Elsa and Anna's father in Frozen? Double pass. What did what show did Don Cornelius host from 1971 to 1993? Uh, um, love connection. I have no idea. Time. <laughs> Nate, how did you do? Um, mediocre at best. Okay. Let's put you on hold and wave hot wings in. Hot wings, come in. Uh, this text, I think Freebeer said hot wings was on a 15 gay wedding streak. Nope. I don't think so. I'd go to 15 gay weddings. Hmm. I mean, maybe not like I love second weekends. I would just get a little old after a while. Like, you know, it's a lot. I don't think it would. Think around, but all I mean, it'd be different. fun. All right, Hot Wings. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Nate is on hold, and now it is your turn. Dumber than the show trivia, Hot Wings edition in three, two, one. What show did Don Cornelius host from 1971 to 1993? Soul Train. What sport celebrates each November 6th to honor its inventor, Dr. James Naismith? Uh, basketball. What television show introduced Whacking Day as May 10th as residents of Springfield brought snakes into the town square and beat them to death? The Simpsons. What is the word which means acceptable to eat under Jewish law? Oh, that is uh, kosher. What was the name of Elsa and Anna's father in Frozen? Oh, boy, that's King Andrew. <laughs> Time. Man, I haven't seen that in a long time. Only a couple of times, too. All right. Owings is done. Nate is done. Let's score this game. What show did Don Cornelius host from 1971? To 1993. Hot Wings said Soul Train. Nate said Love Connection. That, of course, was Chuck Woolery. It was Soul Train, one to nothing Hot Wings. What sport celebrates each November 6th to honor its inventor, Dr. James Naismith? Hot Wings said Basketball. Nate said Basketball. Both correct. Two to one Hot Wings. What television show introduced Whacking Day as May 10th, the day residents of Springfield brought snakes into the town square and beat them to death? You both said The Simpsons. You are both correct. Three to two, Hot Wings. What is the word which means acceptable to eat under Jewish law? Hot Wings said kosher. Nate said kosher. Both correct. Four to three, Hot Wings. What was the name of Elsa and Anna's father in Frozen? Hot Wings said King Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> Didn't really have a firm vowel sound, like hmm. still kind of sounding it out. Nate did not guess, however. The answer is King Agnar. Is that how you mm, say it? I believe so, yes. yes. Oh, I wasn't totally on the wrong track. Four to three. Oh, I'm shocked I was that close. I had like the right number of letters and the right starting letter. <laughs> uh, King and I'm so mad <laughs> I'm like, I felt like it started with an A. Yeah, yeah you crushed them on time too. You got them by 11 seconds. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Nate, thanks for listening. Thanks for playing. Thanks, guys. So glad I, so mad I got that last one wrong. <laughs> I have two 16 year old daughters and I've watched it a thousand times. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Have they ever seen it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thousand times. Okay. <laughs> Watch his little Thank you, Nate. I don't want to share it with them. This is my precious thing. Oh, they hate it. <laughs>